Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about the most common issue users are facing while trying to connect to the Citrix environment. Some users while trying to connect to the Citrix environment, especially while they're trying to launch virtual desktops or virtual applications, uh, they see a black color screen or a gray color screen or sometimes white color screen uh, and they are not able to uh, launch the virtual desktop or they're not able to launch the application. They, they just see this uh, gray color or white color or black color screen and, and it doesn't go away. So in this scenario, uh, we can check a couple of things. The first solution that I would like to provide is, first of all, if you click this here, you see Citrix receiver or Citrix workspace. Just right click on it and you see an option called advanced preferences. Please click on advanced preferences. Okay, once you click on advanced preferences, you see an option called high DPI. Okay, high DPI. Please click on it and please make sure that yes is selected. Okay, if you have let the operating system scale the resolution or no use a native resolution, please change it to yes and click save. Okay, so uh, after saving it, just try to, uh, you know, log off and log in or restart the computer and try to connect to the Citrix environment and see how it goes. Uh, you may, I mean, it, if it works well and you will, you will not be able to see the white screen again or black screen again. So this is the first solution that I would like to give. And the second solution that I would like to give is uh, always look for the software update. So right click on it and look for updates. Just click on check for updates and see if there is any software available to download. Okay, so this is the second solution that I would like to provide for this particular problem. So it is checking for updates. So in your case or in your scenario, if you see some download available, what you can do is you can download it and you can install it and restart the computer and try to connect to the Citrix environment and see how it goes. Okay, this is the uh, second solution that I would like to give for this particular problem. And uh, yes, uh, Yes, uh, so far it is good. And you can also try one more thing actually. Uh, this could also be an issue with the profile, with the uh, profile on your, yeah, for me the software is up to date, so it's all good. So this could also be a profile issue on your computer. Uh, what you can do is, uh, you if there is another computer that, you know, that you use to connect, then you may have to copy the profile information uh, from C users. You need to copy all that uh, you know, uh, profile information to your laptop. And uh, after copying it, you, you can try connecting to, the, connecting to the Citrix environment and see how it goes. So this is a little bit uh, tedious. This is a little bit uh, a time taking process because you need to copy the profile from a different computer to this computer and uh, see if it works. So this is also another solution that I would like to give. So uh, I think one of these solutions should work hopefully, but if you have uh, any challenges, you can always leave a comment. Okay. Thank you for watching.